Okay, here's what I wanted to see. Dave versus Banks. Again, like I said, Dave, aka Pimpfish, is a up-and-coming fox in our region. He plays with uh, myself, Zoso, and uh, Jesse a lot, which is the Rhode Island crew. He comes a lot on Wednesdays. And he finally switched from, like, I, I don't know. It, he switched from whatever characters he was using before to Fox and I, Kirby and Sheik. He played Sheik as well at first. He went from Kirby to Sheik, which is a great choice, and then from Sheik to Fox, which is a pretty good choice. Um, and is this is this live right now? It looks live. Um, they went right into it. So here we go. Uh, Dave versus Banks. Like I said, again, this is something I've wanted to see for a little while. I think Pinfish has it in his capacity to take it. Nerves are going to be an issue here. He's never played on a stream. He's never played against a player of Bobby's caliber where I I feel like he really thinks this time he can win. And uh, that's going to be a big issue as well. Like, he can play the match. It's going to be if he can get he can get it out of here. Uh, that was a good stock cover from Bobby. And Bobby with the big read there. I'm pretty sure he wanted a forward tilt. That forward smash didn't. Uh, shake that off, Dave. That stuff. So you can tell the stream is definitely getting to him. He's playing really aggro, which is good because in a Sheik matchup, playing aggro like this is very smart. However, you have to play it with a semblance of like aggro caution, if that makes sense. Uh, in my opinion, with this sort of round, like you're having right here, use this to feel out your opponent. Try and find out where he texts. Try and find what he has for recovery options. Write it as a watch. You know what I mean? You can beat them and. Just start a full set where he only needs to win one. This is a really nice combo from Banks right here. This is... I mean, it's a combination of nerves from Dave and the fact that Bobby's just playing really, really smart right now. He's playing... He's trying to bait out what we would... I would definitely say is a lesser player's sort of roll panic, which is basically when you run away and then you instantly turn around and dash attack or grab, they tend to roll their spot dodge. And he's trying to definitely get that going for him. That was a nice little stock from Dave, but that's going to be the end of the match. Dave. He's saying, he's saying he's got this. I, If there's one thing I can say, I think the reason that Dave has improved as rapidly as he has in such a short period of time is that he has an amazing attitude, which is like, you hear about it all the time in like sports, but I don't think we talk about it enough in Smash, and that's like, attitude can hold somebody back. Like, if you get gimped and you start getting shaken about it, then you're going to lose a match. So if you can take a beating like that and be able to tell yourself, I got this, then nice set of wave shines there. He couldn't get much out of it. Bobby di back into the stage. Here we go. This is good. He missed a tech, and uh, Bobby was going to capitalize on it. Really good spacing on that forward tilt. There we go. He wants to get some offense generating, but Bobby is using his forward tilts preemptively and his down tilts, which is really smart. Um, it makes it harder for you to react because if you're just running in without thinking about your approach and you neutral air and you eat a down tilt, it actually trades in down tilts favor. So here we go. This could be bad. He's definitely panicking on these recoveries. Um, the same option over and over. Yeah, he's recover. selecting the same option. It's showing, and Bobby's just reading it really hard. Yep. Um, you can, you can just sort of see from how Dave is playing, like where his mentality is right now. He's just trying to run at him over and over again. It doesn't look like he's doing a lot of thinking like that. He got away with that one, even though it's the same option he's taken like every time. Um, good shine, grab the ledge. He should up smash this. Uh, again, he's probably relative time when you're not playing the match it feels like you've got four years to punish that cheek up b when you're playing the match it feels like you've got less than a quarter of a second so i don't blame him for going for the up air it takes a long time to be able to say you've got enough time um that was good i think that was good what he did right there it seemed he took a breath let's see if he can get back but bobby's just being relentless with this that was really nice he read the tech continued the up tilt chain that should be a stock, unfortunately. Oh, nice side B. He could make it back from here. And if he up airs, I liked what he was doing. Oh, I really liked. I really liked the pressure he just tried to go for. We were talking about the yo-yo glitch. I'm sorry about that. I really liked the pressure he was going for. The down throw there, I don't agree with. He had the free kill. Maybe a panic when he grabbed him. Um, Bobby with an accidental four. Yeah, Bobby with an accidental four smash. That was. 
unfortunate, but he's still got a firm control of this. That was really smart. Um, that grab was also, and it was very good. He wave dashed back there and he baited because he's seen that at this point Dave is running in a lot. So to grab as he's doing there is real. It, it's just, it's, it's good for, and that's going to be game. A really good read. Unfortunately, Dave definitely got let nerves get the best of him, but hopefully he'll do better in bracket. I feel like he, hey, he, he said he says he didn't quite have that, but he'll be back. He's got you know he's got time, and um, I don't know. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna try and go use the bathroom or something, man, because apparently we broke the one in here, so I've gotta trek to use it. But I will be back, and hopefully there's some good matches coming up on stream.